So I was thinking of something to do for this community channel because everyone else has done a save that's obviously going to go on for years. So I thought I'd do a challenge, which is something I've actually never done on this game. Uh, but up to now, anyway. And I thought it was something different that hasn't been on the community channel yet. So I'm pretty lucky that I've I've got there um, and thought of it sort of thing. Because I probably will do a save at some point, but I just want to say original a little bit for now while it's sort of still fresh in my mind. Um, I decided to go with the Saviour Cometh, I think it's called. Um, the one where your team are basically in relegation zone. Um, look feared for relegate, uh, feared to go down and uh, you've got to keep them up and... Yeah, just just keep a team in the in the league you're in pretty much, and um, I didn't want to go with a big team before. No point in that. So I actually went with Wolves because they went down in real life uh, last season. I thought that he should have stayed up, and with the right manager, I actually think they could have done it if they didn't keep Terry O'Connor. But that's neither here nor there, I guess. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be a good team to start. I'll just show you where it, where I was in the league. Uh, not bad, as you can see, nine nineteen points and twenty is the last relegation place. But twenty two is Norwich, which are seventeenth. So still quite a difficult challenge. And when you when I looked at the fixtures, I had some very tough opponents still to play. Um, but I was definitely because it's the first time I've ever done it. Looking forward to it. Uh, I actually made a signing because you start in January. Ionis Amanatidis, if any of you guys have followed any of my other series on my own channel, I'm pretty sure I've signed this guy at least twice before. Um, he's good just for a backup striker really and I don't think I actually ever played him. So, First game at Sunderland, I lose 2-0. Bentner and Wickham are scoring and Basson got sent off. Really bad first game. Um, not really the start you wanted because it kind of... Uh, Kind of shows what what you're getting in for, if you like, and that that it's going to be a big challenge. But uh, we, we didn't play too bad. We just didn't really score any. Well, obviously we didn't score any, but you know what I mean. But we beat Tottenham one 0 Jamie O'Hara scoring in the forty fifth minute. That's a great result, in my opinion. You know, that's a really really good result for Wolves to beat Tottenham and a ultimate turnaround from what it was last week. Also, I just kept a, yeah, I didn't show it, I kept a 4 4 2 formation. As I do a lot, actually, if I'm honest. I really like to use the 4 4 2 as much as possible. I also beat Swansea 4 1, Fletcher again 2, Ahara scoring again in the same time, which is a bit of a surprise. And Kevin Doyle getting one. Kevin Doyle was very disappointing throughout this whole uh, challenge. I'm going to tell you that now. He's very disappointing. I don't think he gets very many goals. But I actually like Kevin Doyle in real life, that's why it's more disappointing. Um, yeah, we dominated this one and a real good um a real good start there, I guess. Uh three wins out of four games isn't bad. And then the television pundit says we look like we're gonna get out of relegation, which is very nice of him. <laughs> I guess if you win four one then people might start talking like that in real life, so I don't know, good result. We lose to Chelsea one nil. I don't think that's actually terrible. I, you know, Chelsea are a great team. I kind of expected to lose. 1 0 isn't a lot to lose by. It's just one of them things you've got to get over. Drogba getting the goal. Um, yeah, I didn't think that was a bad point to drop, really. Or, or three points to drop, I should have said. Wasn't really that bad. Uh, Roger Johnson won uh, Player of the Month for February, which, which is a good uh, result for him. Getting the. Uh, playing off. I just thought it was something that I've got to talk about at the end, so I need to keep that fresh in my mind. And uh, after winning that, he actually scored against Man United, and we win 2-1 with an amazing game. Stephen Fletcher getting the goal in the 90th minute, and we had Chris Berra sent off. What a game. What They had it ever injured, but even so, they, we shouldn't have had a ch Going a man down, we shouldn't have had a chance. On the 90th minute, Fletcher, a great game. We also beat Bolton 3-2 with Fletcher getting two goals and Kevin Doyle scoring. Edwards getting injured, which was disappointing because he looked pretty good as a midfielder, actually. Um, pretty creative. 3-2 wasn't bad, but I did think we might have, we was going to lose it at one point, so 3-2 uh, was a good roll in the end. 1-0 with Aston Villa. This was a bit disappointing. Uh, they had a player sent off, so I thought we might have been able to 
maybe capitalise on that, but we didn't really. Carl Henry getting the goal. No one else scored. If memory serves, we didn't have a, that many chances. So, pretty disappointed about that, but I guess we can push on. Rafa Benitez predicts we will be successful in our bid to escape relegation. Well, thank you, Rafa. <laughs> and he's the Chelsea manager for some reason. Um, and Stephen Fletcher wins the player of the month for March. That's February and March we've had a player win uh, player of the month, which is pretty good going. Uh, Arsenal beat us 1-0. Thomas Rosicki scoring a goal in the sixth minute, but that's all they did. And to be honest, we should have equalised, but uh, kind of, you know, pretty disappointed not to have equalised. Um, but there you go again, Arsenal. Uh, I think you can teams can go through, you know, losing to Arsenal and Chelsea and still go up. So this one was a lot more disappointing against Blackburn, one nil to them. Uh, Ruben Rashina getting the goal, and this is when I thought that um, I might start slipping down the table again, because I'd actually got out of relegation at this point, and I just thought, oh, I'm going to slip back in it, and then I'm going to lose on the last day or something. But um, I know we actually did quite well. We then we lose again to Newcastle. That's what I was trying to say that we did quite well in terms of getting two against Newcastle, but we lost three too. So not good positives and negatives to come out of that. Gutierrez getting two and Kabaye getting one. Pretty disappointed about that. This is when I thought that relegation was definitely coming up. Uh, the one nil not winning against Norwich again. I didn't think it was enough. I thought it was. Uh, I thought we'd get some points back, but I thought this meant we were going to have a lot more of a struggle than we did at the beginning of the of the uh, challenge. So you know we had <laughs> just had that looming over our heads for a while. One all with Fulham again. I thought if we could have won this game, might have gone alright. Lee Griffiths getting a goal. I recall always recall him from loan because he, he's actually a good little striker. Bought him for Everton on the first save I ever did on this uh, version of FMH. So I was actually pretty disappointed with one all. Uh, not really a lot else to say. It was a pretty good game, but pretty disappointed. But then I didn't realise I'd actually completed the challenge with a game to go. So we got out of relegation. We secure in the Premiership with one game to go. Thanks for watching guys, just thought it would be something a bit original for this channel. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, leave a like, leave a comment for which challenge to do next, or whether not to do the challenges anymore, you know, put that in there. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded, I've been at college, it's been a bit manic recently, but hopefully I'll be back to uploading on my own channel and this one a bit more regularly. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and have a great day guys, thank you very much.